Sports Radio. We're going to get to your calls to 855-212-4227. And please vote in our show poll after our CBS. And just in case Tom feels badly about coming in fourth, uh, give a follow to our show Twitter because he loves that. He meticulously keeps track. So Kyrie Irving wakes up in his hotel middle of the night in Oklahoma City on Saturday. So Saturday night, Sunday morning. Because as you know, the Thunder and Cavaliers tipped off in a nationally televised game on Sunday. He wakes up in the middle of the night and he discovers bed bugs. Bed bugs. Now, I thought, so Tom and I had this whole discussion before the show started. I thought that bed bugs were minute and, and tiny and that you couldn't see them. Apparently, I was wrong because Kyrie Irving tells the story of why he only played nine minutes and was completely out of sorts on Sunday during the game against the Thunder. I said I was out with flu like symptoms. It was honestly from the bed bugs from the freaking Hilton that we stayed on. So, as you can see, I got it like at the top of my head and it's like bed bugs and I didn't get any sleep. And we came to the game and I was like freaked out and I started feeling nauseous. So, it was just a whole bunch of BS, honestly. Oh, my gosh. It was a Hilton. And he wakes up in the middle of the night, and there are bed bugs. And so he doesn't sleep because he's freaked out. It's just a matter how freaked out you would be if you saw freaking five big-ass bed bugs just sitting ah! on your pillow. Right? I woke up itching, and I'm just looking around. No! And I'm like, Dude, are you serious right now? And no! It was 3 a.m., and I was so tired at that point. Here's what would have happened if it's 3 a.m. in Oklahoma City, and there were bud bugs on my pillow. He apparently got up, sat up, couldn't get back to sleep. Do you know what would have happened if I had discovered bed bugs on my pillow at 3 o'clock in the morning? The entire bleeping hotel would have been awake because I would have been screaming bloody freaking murder. And he waits until the next morning to tell the hotel. Like, he waits until... Uh, business hours? I have no idea. Are you kidding? I would have said, put me in a new hotel room now. And I mean, your penthouse suite, the best thing you've got, you just made me sleep with bed bugs. He's lucky. I mean, they're lucky. The hotel is lucky because the hotel has confirmed. In fact, there were bed bugs. They're calling it an isolated incident to that one room. Yeah, right. Because the bed bugs all got together and planned a party for that one room. They're not, there are no other bed bugs in the entire hotel. They all, it's like the deer crossing signs. I mean, do the deer really see the deer crossing signs on the road and go, oh, okay, that's where I'm supposed to cross. They're animals. They go wherever they want. Like these bed bugs. They're obviously not limited to that one pillow in that one room. Are you kidding me? And he just hangs out until morning. And I mean, no, uh, he's lucky there's not a lawsuit. Now, he doesn't need the money, but there are a lot of Americans who would have filed a lawsuit by today, by by end of business on Monday. And as for me, I would have just screamed uncontrollably. I mean, it, it wouldn't have it would have been involuntary screaming. How can you stay in the room? with I, 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 don't, I don't I don't I mean, how I don't know. It's disgusting. And how how does the hotel expect anyone to believe that it's an isolated room? And Just one room. The thing about invisible bed bugs, that's like when you need to catch them is when you still can't see them. If you can see them, they're adult, which means that this was like a festering problem, which is even more disgusting. And it's impossible. I, I agree with you. It's impossible to believe this is an isolated incident. Mm. And this is a Hilton. It's a Hilton. How can now, that I, I will say this in the hotel's defense. Th- there is very li- I mean, they have outbreaks all over the world. European hotel chains. Uh, American hotel chains everywhere. And I actually, this is so crazy. When I bought my house in Connecticut four years ago, oh, I'm sorry, uh, seven years. 